a major milestone for one nonprofit organization based in Indiana. Safe Haven Baby Box has just installed its 250th baby box in the nation. Casey Cronus is live in Porter, Indiana, with more on this life saving program. Casey. Hey, Terrence and Sylvia. The baby boxes provide a safe and legal alternative to abandoning newborns. And since their first installation in 2016, 50 babies have been found and cared for. This afternoon, a ceremony was held at the Porter Fire Department to celebrate the installation of the 250th baby box in the nation. Here in Indiana, there are now 132 boxes. In addition to those baby boxes, allowing parents to give up their newborns no questions asked the organization runs a 24-hour hotline for parents in crisis and that is available to anyone even if their state does not operate baby boxes like in illinois the boxes are temperature controlled and fire department staff here in porter indiana have just completed their training Parents want 100% anonymity, and this offers that to them. So a mom will walk up to the baby box, open up the door, place her child inside the box, which inside is a bassinet, close the door, and walk away. And there are no questions asked. There are three alarms on the baby box. The first one is the door open. The second one is baby inbox. And the third one is if they would lose power, uh, an alarm will go off to let them know that the bo box has lost power. It is important to note that Illinois does not have safe haven baby boxes. The state's safe haven law does allow parents of newborns to give their child up, no questions asked, within 30 days of birth, but the baby must be handed over to a worker at either a hospital, police station, fire department, or another emergency care facility. Reporting live in Porter, Indiana, Casey Cronus, Fox 32, Chicago.